Hello, this is Survival MacGyver. Today I'll be reviewing the UCO Pika. It's a rechargeable lantern and flashlight. So I've had this for a good number of years. I actually have four of them. I keep them in my uh, storm kit in the closet, just in case we get a tornado or something coming through, or a hurricane or earthquake, because we're susceptible to all of that here. Um, there is a rechargeable light ready to go. So this is a set made by UCO. It extends, become a lantern. It's a little hard to read because of the lighting that I have in here. But it says UCO right there. Um, I'll collapse that again. So you have the on and off button, which also works as a couple of func other functions. Um, include, you know, so on, off, it, you can dim with it. And you can make a strobe, which is a really slow strobe, maybe one blink a second kind of thing. Uh, it has a couple of modes as I said. It's got a high and a low. It's 150 lumens at its brightest. As I should say it's also dimmable. And you can even charge a phone with it. Um, I can't show you charging my phone because I'm using my phone at the moment just to, for this video. Um, but it will charge a phone, maybe not to full capacity, but it, especially the newer phones, it may not, you know, the really large ones. Um, but you can at least get, I think this is an A51 5G that I'm using for the videos. Um, it'll charge it up about 75%. If this is full, it'll charge the phone about 75%, which isn't bad. That still gives me 18 hours of phone use, depending on what I'm doing. So it's got this little metal D-ring at the top. So you could hang it in your tent or on a stick or... If you have a clip, you could hang it off your your gear. Uh, let's see if I had one of those. Um... All right, so if you use something like one of the pack tacks I reviewed on an earlier video, I'll link the description below, or maybe I'll put it on one of the cards or at the end of this video, I don't know yet. But you can always connect this to your clothing or your pack and be able to hang it. So that's super useful, depending on whatever you need it for. But that's how you connect it where there isn't a carabiner where you can add a carabiner. Pack Tech by One Tribe, I believe it is, or Tribe One. It'll be in the description, probably at the top on a card or at the end of the video. So this has a charge port. And unfortunately, it's not a Type C. I don't know if I can get this to show because of the way the light is. It's a micro, one of those funky flat ones. Where it's flat on one side and around the rest of the way. So that's the downside. It's a micro, not a Type C. I don't know if they've made any newer models that have the Type C. That'd be nice, but uh, I haven't seen one. Doesn't mean they don't exist. I just haven't seen it. So that just closes there. And this side is a USB port. Regular looks like a 1.0 or 2.0, that kind of system. Um, so you can charge other devices with it, like your phone, or more of these if you really needed to. So um, <clears throat> it's got a 3.7 volt, 1.8 amp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery. And it does have a flashlight if you keep it compressed in this position. I'm going to shroud this down. Where's my button? Here it is. So there we go. You do have a regular flashlight, 150 lumens. They tell you that the beam protection is between 33 and 164 feet. Of course, that's purely depending on the conditions. If it's raining or foggy, it'll be significantly less. If it's clear and it's a new, uh, new moon, there's no moon out, then you probably get about 164 feet out of it. So in order to make the lantern, pull. You still get a little bit of light at the end. The rest of it is in this diffuser here. And I'm going to turn off my main light here. There we go. So, that's not bad. Now, you can't really tell in here because i got a white background. And the computer monitor is on as well. But uh, it's actually pretty bright. Now, if you hit the button, it blinks. 
and it blinked four times. So four times is a full battery. If it blinks three times, it's 75%. If it blinks two times, it's 50%. If it blinks one, it's 25% battery charge. If it doesn't blink at all, it's probably dead. So that tells me it's got a full charge. And then it turns on. If you hold it, you can dim it. Then it goes back to full brightness. So dim takes a little bit of time to get there. Um, on bright, actually this is actually pretty dim, but you can't tell in the camera. Um, see, yeah, that's full, that's strobe. That's full brightness. See, it's bonus uh, focusing on it. Um, on, on high, which is this, it'll let it last four hours. From a full charge, it'll be full hours. Four hours. If you leave it on strobe, it's 120 hours. If you bring this down, let's see if I can do it without passing it this time. Okay, I guess I can't. Of course, I can't do it on camera, but low mode, which is a little bit lower than this, um, it will last um, 80 hours. So even on low, that's still a good amount of light. And of course, the same thing still works with the flashlight. You still have low, high, dim that down, and you still have strobe. Turn this main light back on. So we can all see what I'm doing here. So that's it. It's actually pretty cool. It is um, IPX5, so it is water resistant, not waterproof, but it is water resistant. The top does not come off. You can move the base around a little bit. You can actually lock the top in place. So they don't tell you about that in the, the instructions, but you see these notches here? There's one there, one there. There's three of them allows you to slide this up and down without a problem. But you can actually turn that way about counterclockwise and you'll feel it click and now it doesn't collapse. So you can keep it in an open position if you needed it. So that's kind of cool. I wish they would tell you that in the instructions, but they don't. They learn something new. But uh, that's it. That's the UCO Pika. Uh, in the description, I'll link to Amazon and to USO's, UCO's website. Um, and I'll also list um, on Amazon the UCO main store page if I could find it. So you can see the other products they make. Um, and that's it. Really, really handy little light. Um, when I go back, back and actually charge it, obviously with that cable there. And this is a solar... Uh, I believe this is a 10,000. Mm, 4,000. This is a 4,000 milliamp uh, battery. I do have larger ones, but this is the only one I have that's solar. And it's got some flashlights on the end. So, just in case, I got it. Um, but uh, they used to go for a pretty good price. Maybe 20 or $30, depending if it's on sale or not. I believe I got these originally from REI. Because I got four of them. Um, I think I got two as a gift and I gifted them away again, but they're, um, they are invaluable. So I do recommend it. I do like the light. It's sturdy. Battery doesn't take that long to charge. And, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please, please press like. Please subscribe. There's going to be more cool stuff like this coming out soon. And, um, that's it. Thank you and have a wonderful day.